Hi, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we're going to be reviewing Marvel Mystery Oil. The name Mystery in Marvel Mystery Oil actually is a, a pretty good indicator of what it is. A lot of people say that it's good for just about anything and everything. A lot of people say that it's not good for absolutely anything at all. Today we're actually going to test what Marvel Mystery Oil does in motor oil and see if it evaporates or not. A lot of people and a lot of complaints are that Marvel Mystery Oil evaporates very quickly when it comes to heat. Today we're actually going to test that. According to Marvel Mystery Oil's website, the oil can be used in the crankcase to enhance oil lubrication and sludge control. It can also be used to improve oil flow and prevent oil thickening in sub-zero temperatures. I looked up the safety data sheet on Marvel Mystery Oil's website, and while it does not show an evaporation rate, it does show a flash point of 128 degrees Fahrenheit. That is actually very interesting considering most operating temperatures for vehicles are between 180 and 220 degrees. Okay, we're going to start off by weighing the containers that each fluid is going to be in. I don't believe it really matters in this situation, but just to make sure that everything's controlled, we're going to go ahead and weigh them. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and prepare the motor oil. It doesn't really matter in this case, but for informational purposes, I'm using O'Reilly brand 10W30. Now, as you can see, I'm using a syringe to pour approximately four ounces into the container that's going to have nothing but motor oil in it. Each one of those syringes has one ounce of motor oil, and I'm going to be adding it in there four times. Now, I'm going to use the syringe to put three ounces of motor oil into the first container, and then the fourth syringe is going to have the one ounce of Marvel Mystery Oil. Now as you can see, I'm going to be drawing it out of there with the syringe, and I'm going to be putting it into the first container, mixing in as well as I can. Now I'm going to go ahead and weigh it. The first container weighs 110 grams, that is the container with the Marvel Mystery Oil. And the second container, as you can see, weighs 107.2 grams. Alright, let's go ahead and get on with the experiment. I'm going to place both containers in a toaster oven at 220 degrees for two hours. Now, of course, as you can imagine, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch two hours of oil baking, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it two hours ahead of time. It's done. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and let it cool for a little bit. All right, now on to results. We're going to go ahead and weigh the container that has nothing but motor oil. It comes in at 107.2 grams with a loss of 0, 0.0 grams. Now let's go ahead and weigh the container that has motor oil and the Marvel Mystery Oil mixed together. Alright, it weighs in at 109.3 grams. Wow, that actually shows a loss of 0.7 grams. I really wasn't expecting that much. I know 0.7 grams don't sound like a lot, but when it comes to an experiment like this and only after two hours, that is quite a bit of weight to have been lost. Alright, I want everybody to know that I'm not being sponsored or paid to do this video. I actually buy all the supplies on my own. Uh, tell me what you think about the video, what you think about the results. It's honestly a little bit surprising to me. I've never been a big user of Marvel Mystery Oil. It's definitely something, uh, some interesting facts that we found out today. Make sure that you go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.